Hi everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, I was inspired by this little wooden piece I found in a grab bag. Actually, I just discovered it in my drawer. And I don't, have no idea where this came from, but I love the concept. It's one of those little wooden pieces. You know that um, you find them in the craft stores, all sorts of different shapes. You can get them in ticket shape, round, like oval shape, tag shape, circle shapes. Uh, I put everything in, let me back up a little so you can see my little wooden drawer, which I rarely go into, but today is the day. And I thought maybe if you ever come across things like this, like here's wooden tongue depressors. I also keep my wooden skewer sticks in here for, you never know, wooden popsicle sticks, big wooden hearts, wooden paper clips of, or paper, paper clips, uh, clothespins of all st sizes and varieties. Um, I've got some gears and things like that these uh, i think i got at the craft shop or maybe at the thrift store and i rarely use them and i'm thinking pam maybe today's look at all these little hearts and and um stars and and this said hey let's make something on these guys why how can we use them in junk journals well i thought these would be so much fun you could use them as cover embellishments you could put them down the spine of a journal. Wouldn't that be pretty? Um, you can color these. You can um, embellish these. Uh, now they're going to come like this, like blank. And we're going we're gonna to put stuff on them and make them look amazing. Or at least that's the plan. But I have a few uh, prototypes here. And I want to show you. Okay, so <clears throat> here's my, this is not even really a prototype. But this is my first experiment. I took a big heart and I just inked the edges with, vintage photo oh and glory be i have found my brown beloved very weathered dauber it's like an old friend and it is back now in my possession why because i clean or how because i cleaned up i know i know amazing things happen when you clean up so literally i'll just pop this on here i just did this because i wanted to see how the ink would grab and it grabs really well on the porous wood so you can do a lot of colorizing uh, you, d you can also burn edge these with a uh, soldering uh, tool, but you don't have to because if you have ink, you can give it that same type of look even without the soldering tool or the burning tool, the wood burning kits, you know? And if I can burn myself with something, I will. Give me a hot glue gun and I'll come out all blistered in the end. So, yeah, look, dirty hands. See, I was playing this morning. I have evidence. Okay, so that is baseline, just experimenting. The next one is a rubber stamped. Now, <clears throat> this is much clearer than this. So I thought, was it my technique, my stamp? I didn't push hard enough? I don't know. So I did another one with a different stamp. So that was, the first one was this stamp. Okay. And then the second one was this stamp. Okay. So that one I did a little more decorating on. But the stamp image came out much clearer, and um, I think maybe I didn't press hard enough, or maybe the edges aren't as crisp and sharp on the little birdie. But this birdie rocks. And um, I used this from my, um, I believe that's from my words um, digi kit, but you can just type words out on your, in your computer, maybe in a Word document or an email a body, and change the font, make it look pretty, and print out a bunch of words that you can tear. Uh, that's how I actually started doing things originally before I had a an Etsy shop or anything like that but I would put words on paper here's I printed it out on coffee dyed paper and uh, it comes out really pretty and you can use all different sizes fonts see here's some larger um, so this one <clears throat> oh, uh, where's my thing oh this one is from the blessings here okay and I think I have this in a digi kit if I, if I recall correctly um, but yes, you can, so you can tear these off and just add them as easy wording. You could probably even stamp words on there with the little individual letter stamps painstakingly. Yes. And, um, or you can just tear a word out from a book and glue it on. That would be awesome too. I just added some flat back pearls and the extra adornment around here is, uh, this peg stamp. I just, um. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, just a couple times I didn't even know what I was doing I just thought well let me play and have fun and I used um, black soot ink around the edges vintage photo on this one and I even came in with a little bit of <clears throat> where is it pick me up it's like a little bit of a 
Oh, it was just, honestly, it was my pink dauber. I just kind of rubbed my pink dauber on little areas just to give it like a hue of a little pinkishness. Yeah, and I thought this would be really pretty. I have this very old book cover. Here it is. I have the front and the back. I have to build, let me back up so you can see a little more. I have the, oh, you want to see my belly. Okay, there, oh, much better. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Oh, we're all relieved. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a very old book cover. Um, it doesn't have a spine, but I will build one for it, so no worries. But I thought it would pop very nicely as a cover adornment on this. So you can glue them here. Another thing you can do, <clears throat> excuse me, if they're of the dangly type, you could uh, dangle them from your spine which would be very pretty to make a spine dangle full of a bunch of these, or maybe just one or two mixed with some beads and some chain or uh, some sari silk or torn bed sheets, something like that might be very pretty. And you can get these in different sizes. And um, you could also, if you, don't, if you don't have the holes and you don't have a Dremel or something to punch the holes in this, you could take smaller versions of these. They come in little wooden sizes as well. And then you could just glue these right onto the spine, like going down the spine. Maybe you want, um, <clears throat> sorry, two hearts and a circle or, or stars or however you'd like to do it, but those can come right down your spine. You can color these and do things with them. So we're gonna just play, <laughs> that sounds so weird. We're gonna be, <laughs> I can't say it. Um, we're gonna be having fun with these um, organic natural objects today. <laughs> yes, okay, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just inhaled, I drank some uh, water and I inhaled it down the wrong pipe, so I apologize for the throat clearing. I'm, I'm hoping it's done. Hang on, let me do a big throat clear and I'll be right back. Ah, all is well. Okay, so let me just move this out of the way a bit so we can, we have room to play. And I just pulled out some inks and some, you may want to grab some stuff and do this. I don't know if you have this, but if you don't have these little wooden things, keep an eye out for them because often people don't know what to do with them. If you're not a wood uh, designing person, if you're not making little doll houses or little bird houses or things like that, um, or cute little like magnets for your fridge, you might not know what to do with these with junk journals. And I thought this might just blend some ideas. So, all right. Let's take one of these shapes just for fun. Okay, these are nice and flat. And um, let's go ahead and ink it up with the beloved brown dauber. Let me go so far away. Um, with the beloved brown dauber. <clears throat> and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, the purpose, so what I'm gonna do is ink it all the way around so I have a good border. And I think I'll do it on both sides because I don't know if it's gonna be a spine dangle or a lay flat and get glued on. So just in case, I'm, I'm covered. All right, there we go. So now, let's see if I can get a better impression. Maybe it was just really bad Pam stamping, and that, that could happen. Closer. <clears throat> Too close, I know, sorry. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if it was just bad Pam hand stamping. Let me look at my, I think there's a natural, I don't know if you can see it, I think there's a natural arc in this. Do you see that? Like it kind of, meow, meow. Eh? I don't know, it could be the stamp. It could be me. All right, let's just go and see what happens. Gonna really ink it up well. I did this one, I didn't spritz water on first when I did that. This one, there I have spritzed. Let's see if it makes a difference. Here we go. I'm pushing hard, hoping left and right, top and bottom. Probably not supposed to do that, but let's see. Okay, I mean, it is a better impression. Let me show you. So obviously it came out a little bit better. So it was probably user error in the beginning. Let's just always go with that. <laughs> I know, right? Um, okay, so we have that. Now, <clears throat> I thought it would be fun if we could figure out a way to color these. I mean, they look very nice neutral and you don't have to do anything else to them. They, I mean, that would be really pretty as it is. But if we wanted to color them up a little bit, I, let, let me try first something very basic. Like, um, okay, I just see this is a very close, I don't know what it is, it's a colored pencil of some sort. No name on it, have no idea where this came from. Let me go in closer so you can see how this works. And if it works, let's try, let's try coloring it. Let's, um, this little, oh, it does. So colored pencil does very nicely on here. It's very easy to color right where you want to color. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, maybe you've got some colored pencils hanging around. <clears throat> maybe uh I'll give them a little, like a little red breast here I don't know this is like an orange but 
There you go. There's your little red breast. Okay, a little around the head. And you don't even have to color in the whole thing. Maybe you just want to give him a little, little accent color. Well, that's very cute, right? Maybe he needs more of an eye, a distinct eye. So maybe I'm going to come in with, oh, it's probably the wrong one, but you know, we got what we got today. This is a Faber-Castell bold, bold, I think that is, or big. <laughs> I, I, it's, a, it's a thicker one. It's like a marker. So let's see what happens. I'm, I'm going to try and accent his little eye. I'd really rather use my skinny one. Where is that? Because I feel like I'm going to get too much of a blob here. Um, digging, digging where it's normally housed, found it. Okay, yeah, here we go. This one. This one is his Pit Art Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. Small, I think it is. This one I often leave open, so it might be dry. So very tiny. Um, let us let us color in his eye. Where are your glasses? Alright. Oh, that is cute. Don't overdo it, Pam. He's really cute right now. Sometimes if you do these little little pointy things coming from the bird eye, it makes it look kind of extra cute. I don't know why, but it's like an extra cute birdie trick. So I, I think he's already looking really cute, right? <clears throat> Maybe I want him to be a bluebird or, or, or like a, a robin, like a blue robin with a sort of a red breast. Let me see if I can find anything blue. Okay, this is, I found two blues. I'm just coming in here. Of course, this could be bird of imagination too. It doesn't have to be bird of any, we don't have to look up the field guides. No, no, we don't. All right, that, that needs a sharpen. Where's my sharpener? There it is, right where I left it so I would be able to find it easily. Oh, Sonny is here. Yes, he's looking at me like, oh, mom, really? Really? <laughs> yes, yes, sunshine, yes. Um, okay, so this is my Derwent sharpener. I love this thing. You pull it out. You put it in. You sharpen. And, well, I mean, that's not, I keep, keep going, but I don't want to take this to a super point. But this is just such a handy sharp. It's really good. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I mean, I really like it. Yeah, I mean, it's just a dandy sharpener. Okay. And I've tried a lot of sharpeners. I'm very hard on sharpeners. Okay, here we go. Make this baby blue. Okay. Let's see. Should I have left it? Or is it okay to take it blue? Let's see. You never know until you're done, but we always have more wooden pieces, so it's all good. Oh, this is actually very fun. It's very therapeutic. Yeah, I'm feeling very relaxed and unwinding now. That's cute, right? Should I do his head? Maybe, huh? Okay, here we go. It's a big commitment. I don't know. Should I do this? Should I not? Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I think it's good. I'm just going to leave a little whiteness around the eye so the eye pops. Maybe a little more blue on the head. The top here around defining around the little neck oh I, you know I now got to do something on this little beakaroonie okay I'm going to come in with the original one of unknown type yeah probably some El Cheapo thing uh, but these work I mean it's all pigment don't you don't always have to have the fancy stuff no 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 use what you got borrow from the kids steal from the neighbors friends and family are free game there we go now we got this little guy what's that is that a bird poop it's not attached to his foot did you unload on my, my little thing here? I want to know what that is. Okay, I'm never going to know what it is. All right. Okay, so anyway, we have this little guy now. And he's really kind of cute. I think he's adorable. I mean, <clears throat> just having fun with goofy little stuff here. So this is the difference before and after. Um, so yeah, you can use colored pencils to, to um, liven these up. So let us now take a look at, this was prototype number two. And this is an easy one. This came, um, I think I got just a big pack of these heart-shaped things. Um, there's so many different things you can do with these things. If, if I could just think of some, I'll, I'll share more. But um, I'm going to go ahead with my original idea, darkening around the edges. Now this, I think, would be a little bit clunky to hang from a spine dangle. So I'm going to feel confident in my choice that this is going to be glued down at some point. So what I'm going to do is make sure I get the edges sort of tears up your dauber of favoriteness. Maybe I'm going to, can I do this? Can I roll it in the ink? Yes, yes I can. I can actually get a, a better darkening that way. Okay, we can do this. Yes, yes we can. Oh, I'll come here and like fill it in. Oh, it's like shredding my pore. I really need to change that. I, don't, I haven't changed that foam in forever and a day and a couple Sundays. And it is 
you know, hanging on. I think it gives a nice rustic look, though, because it's barely there. That's what I tell myself, because then I don't have to go change it. But I, I, I will at some point, probably after this video. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? What on earth? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so we have that. We have our edges, pretty much. Not looking too bad. And now we're going to do a stamp. Now, I'm not going to do the same stamp. We'll do something different, okay? But basically the same concept. And this time, well, it's, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to do a stamp that overhangs the actual item just to see what it looks like, okay? Just, just, just for fun. Okay, so this is a stamp that is central, floating of its own. And I filled in the, the blank area just with stuff. Now this one, the whole stamp is going to cover it. So let's just see how this goes. I feel like I almost want to re-wet. This is what I re-wet with. It's just a, a spray bottle. just has water in it. It just, I still have a lot of ink in here. The, the ink pad just gets dry because, yes, yours truly leaves it open. And now I'm just going to ink up this baby. Nice and juicy. There we go. Now let's see how it's done here. What side? This side? Okay, here we go. They put on angle? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Eh. I wonder if I lost its head. Maybe right in the crux of the... We'll find out. One, two, three. Oh, that was kind of weird. Okay, it looks like I moved or something, doesn't it? Well, let's see if we can make it better. Okay, we've got a couple techniques where we can see if we can make it better. I could re-stamp, but I risk not putting it in the exact place, which is something I would do. And I'm not against that. But um, I'm going to try and sharpen this up a little bit. Now, since my... This one was okay... Let me, let me come a little closer, a little closer, because you're going to see this up close. Um, uh, uh, there we go. Okay, focus, focus. Okay, I'm going to see if I can sharpen the edges just with, the, this is the small one. Whoops, sorry, small one. Okay, and if it's not enough, I'll, I'll grab that bold one. Oh, stay in the lines, Pam. Good grief. What did they teach you in art school? Oh, yeah, you didn't go to art school. You should get your money back if you did. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go going okay so yeah that's definitely increasing the impact um let me see this <clears throat> we're just going to do a comparison using the fat one the bold one the one that looks like a marker on the end let's see what that one looks like we'll do it over here just for comparisons oh yeah it's completely different isn't it yeah all right i think both are fine they just give you completely different looks can you see that's quite intense Yes, that's very definitively. Oh, I am a butterfly of almost more um, juvenile picture. I don't want to say juvenile, but it looks like more childlike or some way, something, something like that. Because I, I am the artist. That's probably why. Okay. Just going to follow it. Free light, free handing. I'm going all the way around. What the heck? Let's just do it. We're here. Let's have some fun. Let's keep going. Maybe the next one I'll do just with the, the lighter one. Or maybe I won't have to because I'll actually stamp better. How about that? Okay, following the butterfly lines. A little head. All right, we got, got that so far. Shoom. I mean, it's pretty easy to follow the lines. It's not hard. You can do this. We're just going along and doing our thing. And oh, do I really want to go through all those little cells there? I could, but I you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to color it in first, and then we'll see if we want to accentuate the cells. How about that? <clears throat> Sorry, still clearing, still clearing. Here are my, uh, here's a, like a box full of, these are like not famous, just want to use the color stuff. So um, let's pick out th three colors. Let's use, oh, you need a sharpen. Uh, let's use a green, a pink, a green, and a purple. Yeah, how about we make the butterfly those colors? Let me back up just a little bit so we can see what, what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to sharpen these because <clears throat> this is how I received them. Yes, probably in a grab bag from the Goodwill or one of the thrift stores. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five. That should do it. Just enough. So I, oh, no, not enough. Back you go. A little bit more. Oh, over there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. Can, can we just say, holy macaroni? Yeah, I mean, it really is an impressive uh, sta uh, stapler. This is not a stapler. This is a sharpener. If you give it, it's, you know, chant. One, two, three, 
four, five. Okay. Did I get five? Oh yeah, look, that's very nice, right? Yeah. And we'll do this one. I don't think we really need to. We're okay there. All right, back here, and we're coloring. Zoom in. Okay. Um, I think purple body, maybe. Okay. I'm just going to color him in. No particular, you know, just randomly coloring. Maybe I want to color his head a different color. I don't know, right? Maybe he wants a green head. You know, as these butterflies go. They, they're, like, very colorful, so we'll give them a lot of different colors. <coughs> Let's see, where are we here? Maybe we'll shade in these these big clear areas with some pigment. You could probably use different things. Maybe I could do every other one and I can put alternating colors or something. That might be fun. All right. And let's try over here. All you have to do is stay somewhat in the lines, not even perfectly. This is all impressionism. If we everything falls under that cloak, then it's okay to color outside the lines. It's okay to be blurry. It's okay not to be exact. And you can still call it art. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's like art majors curling their toes right now. That's okay. That's okay. Um, all right, let's try that. I'll just fill in some of these. That's kind of fun. Can you still see? Yeah, okay. I'll put you in the middle there. There we go. And there. It's very relaxing, you know, this whole, like, coloring as an adult. There's a, it's like a thing. You know, it's like, a, it really is a thing. Yeah. There's like something here. I don't know what it is. Okay. Let's bring in some of the green. Yeah, that looks vibrant and exciting. Okay. And just for fun. <coughs> So what kind of journal are you doing today? Are you, do you have a particular theme? Or are you going eclectic? And uh, is it for you or for somebody else? What you working on? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, I know lots of you have different projects or half done projects or half started projects and you don't know quite where to go from there. <clears throat> and um, that's okay. Um, when I don't know what to do, I just start playing with paper and without purpose, playing, pa playing with paper without purpose, not having a direction or, a, or um, I don't, nothing I have to produce. I don't say to myself, this must be a journal by the time I'm done. I'll just play with the paper and see where it goes. And often some inspiration or fun will come out of that. And then I'll be, and I'll be, I'll have a direction that I'll be like, Ooh, I would I would like to do this now or do that now. And, oh, geez, so many ideas, not enough time. That's all I can say is, whoop, a little too sharp there. And, um, okay, all right, I'm going to get to what you're doing here, Pam. All right, so yeah, you can make your own, you don't really even have to stay in the predefined lines of what you see. You can just go in any direction you want. I'm just putting some extra purple emphasis around there. And maybe a little, where these little areas are here, go a little lighter and just give it some purple color. All right, and maybe along here. These little white areas, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just sort of flowing with the roll. Yep, maybe we just do that. Yeah, it just looks like he needs that. There, there, there we go. Um, so very simple, very easy, and I could come in here with maybe more of a line defining thing. Let's see where this takes it. This is the small, the skinny one, the tiny little micro tip, um, Faber-Castell. And let's just, let's just outline these things, these little colored cells. I don't know why I'm just trying it. It might look like, like hoo-ha, but it might not. We might get somewhere with this. We'll just see. We never know until we play, right? So when you get inspired to do something, just do it. Don't fight it. Like, just, just take it and see where you're going to go. Um, and uh, it's only a piece of wood and a little bit of pigment. And it's all okay. Yeah, because if you don't do it, you'll always wonder, should I have done that? What would it have been like if I did that? I never did it, and now I'll never know. I know. I don't want you to be there. I want you to have 
the answer to that question. You might be like, oh, hey, I tried that and that turned out awesome. Or you, you might say, whoa, that was a big mistake. I'm never doing that again. Um, but now I know, so I am further down the road, which is kind of cool. Yeah, okay. I think you're always better off when you experiment and try things than if you don't give it a chance. And you bought the stuff to play with. Remember that when you get stuck in that, oh, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to use up my good stuff. I don't want to, no, no, that's why you bought it. You bought it to enjoy it. And uh, I think the worst thing we can do is have a pile of um, really cool stuff and be afraid to use it because uh, then not only do we feel bad, we're also uninspired because we, we're not using it. And uh, it's just lying there and it's, it's um, your resources all tied up and stuff you're not using. What, what's that all about? No, we can't, we can't have that. No, we want you fa having fun, playing, playing with your stuff. I want you playing with your stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think this gives it some nice distinction. I don't know what it, it is. But uh, it's helping with the focal point. I'll bet you could come in here with the Stabilo pencil, too, and have some fun with that. I don't think I'm going to try that today, but I think you could. I'm just saying, if anybody wants to experiment, let us know how that went. Feel free. And maybe I would give you some lines, because I want to give you a little bit more detail on what you're doing here. That way. Okay, there we go. Now we're not good. All right, you need some eyes or something, right? Mm. Those are big eyes, I don't know. I don't know what her butterfly eyes like. Yeah? Better? Oh, that's kind of pretty, right? I mean, that would look nice on the front of a journal. Let's see. Let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> like, here's a cover. Oh, back up a little bit more. Um, here's a cover. So maybe you could put something like that. Or maybe down here. That would be very pretty. You know, it would be very easy to just glue it on with some um, Fabrifix glue. Clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Um, and that will stay. And you can probably glue it down with other glues as well. Uh, but I think that's really pretty. And um, now I think with this one, you could definitely go into the Blingarama because it's kind of hearkening to that. But I think we'll let that, where are we? Oh yeah, no, we have to, we have to let that one rest. Okay, so this is what we have so far. But let's, let's go off mainstream here and try something different. And that's something we haven't done yet with these. Um, let me get a new one. Let me move these. Oh, I wonder if you could use crayons on there. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, well, let's try just something random. Okay, that. How about that? A little rectangle. And um, <clears throat> that would look really cool coming down the spine. Or you could... Uh, drill a hole in that with a Dremel and make spine dangles. Or you could put a word on here. Oh, that might be cool. Okay, so let's let's think background. We're just going to do background on this one. Um, so for example, let's say I have this, whoop, you're too close. What are you doing all up in my stuff? Back off. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a script stamp. It doesn't, I don't think it really says anything. It's just supposed to look like script. But I'm just going to try stamping on there. Let's see how that goes. I don't need, really need the whole thing. Just try this top half. Black soot here going. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, maybe I shouldn't wiggle back and forth so much. Just push. Okay. Oh, that came out kind of nice. Okay, bring it back in. Come on in. So you could do, sorry, we're wiggling. Could do something like that. That's really cool. I like that a lot, actually. So then, <clears throat> I might grab my black dauber. My black dauber and my black soot ink. Oh, too close. I, I know, I feel it too. I'm, I'm right there with you. Okay. Um, black soot, rub a dub. You go around the edges. Oh, yeah, that's, right. that's nice. Okay. All right, that's pretty, right? Could come down the spine again, be a spine dangle, be adornment on the front or back of your uh, journal cover. But what if we put a word on it? Yeah, what if we just went and like put a word on it? Something fun. Let's see what we got. Let's see what the best color looks and everything. Okay, so this is kind of, um, oh, yo, what are you doing way over there? Okay, so I've got words. Got words. Let's see, that might not pop. Maybe we want something a little bit more white. Maybe one of these words. Oh, it wishes. Dreams? Dreams might be nice. All right. Okay, let me tear the word dreams out. 
<clears throat> I like to leave enough room in between, between here so it's easy to tear or cut. That's one thing if you're making these for yourself. Make sure you leave enough room to tear or cut. Don't stack them so tight that you can't, you don't have room to tear. Okay, I'm just working with the black on this one. Just to give a little pop rooney Oop, that was a little bit much. That's okay though. Carry on. All right, and we're just going to put it on there. Ah, that's kind of cute, right? I mean, yeah, it doesn't take much. No. And, um, I mean, if you had popsicle sticks, you could probably make a zillion of these things. But um, I don't know how to cut the popsicle sticks in half other than a hacksaw or a, um, a table saw. I'm, I, yeah, okay, there we go. But if you buy them this size already, you don't have to fuss with any of that. And that's pretty, isn't it? I mean, I just think that's really pretty. Looks like something expensive that you bought in a Tim Holtz package or something, don't you think? Um, yeah, and then, you know, you could come along. Nope, oh, too close. Hmm, that's nice, isn't it? Yes, that's very pretty. Yeah, you could put it here. Oh, not some other, there, maybe there. Okay, or you could put it over here. Yeah, or you could put it over here. Yeah, I mean, you, you have options. Yeah. So um, just a lot of fun things you can do with these wooden pieces. What else have we got over here? I'm just going to dig a little deeper. I know we're going to go a little longer, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, how about this? Uh, the, there, there's some, I found some in the shape of a tag. That's cool, isn't it? And if you had any of that fancy stuff, you could probably just shave off the edges of rectangles if you don't have the tag. Um, but... Let's just go ahead and ink this around. Let's see what we're going to do with it this time. Oh, I think I had a music that would be... Yeah, here we go. This one is a music stamp. All right, let's try that. And maybe let's let's try a different color. Maybe we're going to do blue this time. This is what? Broken China. All right. A music can be blue. Probably dry. All right, there we go. Ink that baby up. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Probably should have done it the other way. Oh well, let's see what happens. Oh, that came out kind of good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. So we have this. Oh, you're way too far. Okay. All righty. Now we have that. Now what are we going to do, Pam? All right, well, let's, let's try something we haven't tried yet. I don't know if this is going to work but I'm going to try it. Um, that's just silly. That's, that's silly what you're thinking right now. I'm reaching for crayons, and I just think that's a bad idea for some reason. I don't know why, but maybe because I think it's a bad idea, I should try it. These are Crayola. This is in melon. This makes absolutely no sense, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, it's just going to go around here, put some pigment down. Remember, crayons are just pigment. They're not necessarily for old or young. They're just pigment. That's that's it. So if you have a crayon bias, because you think they're just for kids, just think waxy pigment. I'm just going to go over the whole top of this thing. Maybe I can seal it. Oh, it's smudging the ink a little bit, but it's kind of cool, though. It's it's You can see the stamp through it. And I thought the top here was looking a little naked. But this is, you know, if you need to seal something, the wax of the crayon, oh, yeah. That's nice and not, well, my finger is already dirty. You can't judge by that. But um, let's just cover the whole thing. You know, I, I, I kind of like this now. Um, not the best colorist, but um, definitely don't stay in the lines. <laughs> but uh, it does, the wood grabs the wax of the crayon very nicely. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing um, little tags for gifts. Uh, for Christmas gifts would be really pretty like this. Um, just jazz them up a little bit. We can have fun with this stuff. I mean, not everything has to be a giant Mona Lisa. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just a goofy little thing that you're making and you're just having fun with it. And as long as it, that, you have fun, that's all that really matters. I mean, yes, we want to make beautiful things. I get that. I get that. Yes, we want to start YouTube channels and, um, um, have Etsy stores and all that. Yeah, no, I get that. But sometimes you just want to like kick back, relax, and just have some fun with a crayon, piece of wood, and some ink stamp stuff. I don't know if it picks up the color very well, but it's very colorful on this end. 
I don't think it looks like that that colorful on your end, but it's very melony on this end. Now I probably can't do anything with it because I have a waxy surface. Um, maybe I could put a word on it. I don't know. Will it repel? I, maybe I could write on it. Probably not. Why would I want to write on it? No, I've got a busy background. So let's not do that. Let's just leave that one as is. Okay, we'll leave that one as is. I'm, I'm just really having fun playing with these. So, um, do you want to keep playing or should I turn it off? Let's make one more. What the heck? Um, Okay, so let's say, oh, I really like that, that melon one. It's so super pretty. Can you see it? Okay. Um, let's do some of these stars and hearts, these little things. Like maybe you don't have all those, but maybe you have like a pile of these somewhere. If you go really deep, I mean really deep in those, those drawers that you haven't been in in 100 years, go look in there. I think there are some. Yeah, yeah, I think there are. Um, <laughs> I think there are. Um, let's try this. Let's try, let's Oh, I had, yeah, here we go. Let's try taking this with tweezers, putting it here. Okay, I just gotta grab it, I guess. Rub it, see what happens. What do you think's gonna happen? Is it gonna be good or yucky? Let's see. <laughs> We're trying to keep my fingers clean. Who are we kidding? Oh, look at that. That's quite distinct, isn't it? I mean, there's one little shy spot there, but I could probably just come over and do that. It's almost like it's stained. Like wood, st whoops, sorry, wood stain. Yeah, I know. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's do that. I know you can't see that that well. You get any, you know, you think I'd have a piece of paper. Where's the paper around this place? Has anybody seen any paper? Here, let me take this so you can see what we did. There we go. Maybe let's take, want to try a green one? Okay. I heard you. Martha in the back? Yes, Martha would like us to try a green one. A green star? Sure. Did we wet it? I'm not, I don't remember. Just wet it. Okay. Oh yeah, now we're all soaky wet. Why have I got you so close again? I'm sorry. I know I'm making you all seasick and dizzy here. Go go smaller. No, you don't want to go smaller? Oh, take that. I'll make it there. I'll bring it there. Okay. Perfect place. All right, here we go. See, I could try and like do this, but yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Let's see if this one works. Okay. Did it work? Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Do I have a green dubber? Hello, green dubber. You need to come in for a rescue. Where are you? I'm right here. Okay, found you. Okay, here you are. You've got some stuff on you. What is that? Garbage. Okay. <laughs> come back here. Can we do it just with the green dubber? Oh, yeah, I think so, because this is getting wet now from this, and that's transferring nicely on there. Look at that. So I'm thinking Christmas. You could do green. Oh, here's somebody did one in red. This one came this way. Um, already red. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll do green and red. We've got some, some of that going down. We've got brown. So I'm thinking Americana Christmas sort of look rolling here. Um, let's do another green one. Okay. Maybe just push. I want to see the push technique. Does that do it or do I really have to rub? Okay, pick it up. Okay. We get light. Now, if you want it darker, I think we have to rub it in because you're like getting the grains of the yeah, what on earth is that? You've got fuzz balls from your ink pad. But I think we have a little more distinct color. Okay, Lamar. Yeah, daubing. Yeah, there we go. Now we're now we're a nice deep green color with inky fingers. So lots of fun that way too. And um, I think these would be easy to just jet it like as is, totally as is. Use them as is, or you could uh, put little pearls or dots or something. Where's I have a little pearls around here somewhere for a second ago. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Looking, looking, cannot find, cannot find. Giving up on that idea in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Where are they? I just saw them right here. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we let that go. <laughs> um, I wonder if you can rubber stamp on these now. I mean, they are kind of dark, but let's just try one. Okay, so this is a fairly solid looking stamp. I'm going to ink it up well with my black soot and I'm just going to stamp on there. See what I get. I'm going to try one of the dark green ones. Let's go close so you can see. Okay. I mean, it might, might look like hoo-ha in a jelly basket, but mm. oh, we got something. That's kind of neat, huh? I mean, that honestly did come out better than I was, was hoping. So you got to see it here a lot. Let me take in close. Is that too close? I don't know. Yeah. 
I mean, it, it's subtle, but it's there and it's present and it gives another dimension. Now this one had a black mark on it. Let me see if I can do that over this one to kind of mask that black mag magic marker marker, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Okay, we'll just try and make it look like it's part of the design. Nope, didn't, didn't work. <laughs> I would say that doesn't look like part of the design. So what I might do with this one is say, what are my options? I can keep going and maybe put something there. I could cover it up. I like the red though. I don't want to lose the red. I, I have red ink. I could just red ink it. But I think in this case, I'm going to have to pull out, yes, you guessed it, a piece of lint or something. What is this? This is that weird thing that was clinging. Let me just, something like that. That. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm stretched. Okay. Find something real, Pale Pam. It doesn't always have to be a fuzzball. It could be something else. All right. Hang on. I got to find something. All right. Here was my uh, 10 cent solution. I found a little paper flower. I'm just going to stick it on there. So now I have that. Oh, my hands look horrible. Um, it, it doesn't, it actually looks nice if you couldn't, if you minus the ugly hands. Yes. Very pretty. F star with flower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Oh, you want to hear, from, I know you want to hear from Sonny because he's been gone for a couple days. No, he hasn't been gone for a couple days. He went for a couple hours to the little, um, uh, boarding center to see how he would do. And, uh, okay, Connie, honey, Connie, Connie, honey, Sonny, come here. Mama's got dirty hands. I'm so sorry. Um, we'll wash you later. Oh, mommy, I don't know. I'm so comfy. Oh, but I haven't said hello to everybody in so long. I miss them all. Yes. And you had your face washed recently. So I was I'm coming in, everybody. Here I come. Oh, I've missed you. You want me to fix my ear, Mom? Thank you. Um, I hope you're all good. I went to the special boarding place. Um, it is kind of like uh, a big park full of dogs. Yeah. Oh, mom, did you say park? Did you did you park? Go to the dog park. <gasps> We're going to the dog park. Did you? I guess I guess we are going to the dog park now, aren't we? Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. I'm back to sleep. All right, so um, I met uh, Max and um, uh, Angela and uh, Rover and who else? Who else was there? Um, uh, um, Buster. Buster was there. But and, and the best news? Nobody ate me. That's right. And and I didn't eat anybody either. No, I was I was very kind, and um, I I I was just. Uh, Mom told me to be a good boy, so I was a good boy, yeah. And um, when I came home, I was very happy. And Mom could see that I was happy. So she was very relieved that I was happy. And I was happy that she was happy. And we were all happy. And then we ate. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds like a pretty good day. It was awesome. All right. All right. So have a fun, everybody. Keep crafting. And I guess I'm going back to sleep now. I love you all. Bye. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sunny. Um, they were worried about you. They, they were wondering what, what happened to Sun Bun. Um, okay. So there you have it, folks. I hope you had fun here. If you don't know, um, I have 25% off. Look at Look at, I have ink on my hands. I have 25% off in my merchandise shop, which, which is my t-shirt shop. So if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, um, I, you can put that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug, tote, or water bottle for yourself or a loved one, family member, fellow crafter. And um, um, what else? There's something else. Man, I can't think of what it is. Okay, so... Um, if you have not signed up for my free monthly email newsletter, if you've already heard this and you just want to click away, that's totally fine. I totally get it. This is for new people. <laughs> um, uh, I have a free monthly email newsletter that uh, if you sign up for that, every month you will get a free digital image emailed to you. It's at the bottom of the newsletter. There's a freebie section. And um, all you need to do is sign up. And when you sign up, you should get the first one the next day. And then on or about the first of every month, they will continue to come to you. Also in the section, you will get included a list of junk journal supplies to keep your eyes open for as you scour your world. And also um, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. And you can change the wording, the font, the text, anything you like. Um, it comes in Word doc and PDF format. And, uh, or you can print it out and use it as is with my blessing. So have fun with that. I, I tuck that into the beginning of my junk journal. 
and um, um, a page list of ideas if you're stuck. If you're thinking, oh, that was fun for two or three pages, but I have no idea what to do from this point on, Pam. Help, help, help. Okay, so I put a list, a page list of ideas, and then married with that there, I have a playlist called Never Endless Page Ideas. I think that's what it's called, but it starts with Never Endless, which doesn't make any grammatical sense, but we're rolling with it because it's too far in there at this point. Um, but I try and bring those ideas to life. So I take an idea and I show you four different ways to use it throughout your junk journal and make them look different each time so that it doesn't look like you're using the same idea, but you're actually bringing in newness. And you are because you're using your little turn up and your imagination to create new things with one idea. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's very efficient and it's fun and because then you can start moving through your journal and have a lot of fun. Um, you certainly don't have to decorate every page of your journal. You can decorate every page of your journal. You can go every third page, every seventh page, every twelfth page. Doesn't matter. Totally up to you. These are uh, for you to design and for your pleasure. And also, um, I my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio material comes out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you want to watch video podcasts... Um, Watch them on Spotify. You can watch the video and hear the audio at the same time, or you can just listen to the audio on any regular podcast format or by going to anchor.fm and looking up the paper outpost. And the links are all down below if you, if you just want to click on the link and go straight there below the video. And uh, I have an Etsy shop where you can find uh, journals and interesting bundles and kits when I have them available. I also sell digi kits, which are printable download images. Uh, five pages of images come in each digi kit and you can print these out at home on your computer. They come in themes like birds and Victorian and dragonflies and butterflies, um, all sorts of fun things for you to pick from. There's over 180 different ones. Um, I have different holidays in there, brides, things like that, all sorts of variety. And um, if you don't like to print, I have a print and mail service where I will print them and mail them to you. I do them in batches of 10 digi kits, which means you get 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock paper. So it's a nice weight so you can cut it out. It's ready to use as a journal card or a pocket or something. You don't need to back it or anything like that. It's, an, it's strong enough as is. And um, you just give me the names of the 10 digi kits that you would like. Um, you can either send that to me through Etsy message or email me the list to pam at thepaperoutpost.com and then I will go ahead and print those off and send those to you. It's one flat fee. You don't need to buy the individual digi kits just and it does include free priority mail shipping. Okay, I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies like this little gizmo or these little finger majigs, um, and um, I am an affiliate, so it does help my shop, uh, but you do not pay more for the items because you click on the links in my shop. And also, um, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And thank you so much for our admin and mods who are helping us out over there. It, I could not do this without you. Thank you for keeping it a safe, happy, and healthy environment for everybody. Keeping everybody focused on the um, weekly and monthly challenges, as well as seeing what folks make from uh, these video ideas. And remember most of all that fun can be simple. And Sunshine and I wish you to create with reckless abandon and have an awesome day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.